and we're live this is julian jean pierre and i'm at the airport and i'm about to uh receive a load of a sea moss um Yeah, you can probably bring it all, put it all the way to the back end. It's four skids, right? Yeah, yeah they should fit. I think next time I'm going to ask how many skids there are. Hey guys, welcome. So this is like, uh, I think about just under 2,000 pounds we're getting today. And, uh, as you can see at the warehouse, these boxes look packed, Ugh. packed, packed, packed. Oh, it's cold out. So a lot of people have been asking me basically to show them sort of like the behind the scenes of me receiving CMOS and what it's like. Um, you know, when you're ordering this much CMOS, you're always going to have to get one of these um, big trucks to uh, load it all up in. This one's a 20 footer. I think we're getting about 45 boxes today, right? So that takes up a lot of space. It's basically four skids. So they have two skids in right now. They're gonna probably fit another one in there and then another one on the side if they can, I think they can make it fit. Yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments, anything you wanna add. Actually, let me wave at all you guys it's like hey hey Brr. let me go and take a look inside oh, at some of these boxes this one Looks nice and fresh. Looks like they had to use some of these boxes. The different boxes. Might have to move this one over a little bit.
these guys are like precision. Good thing I didn't get the 26 footer. That would have been overkill. Yeah, looks like. Oh. After this, I'm gonna grab something to eat because I'm starving. And then it's back to the warehouse to finish doing all the orders. Now I know um, there's a lot of orders that have been um, delayed. And I apologize for that. We've just been swamped with orders. We had a sale. And, um, you know, the sale plus Christmas plus, you know, UPS wasn't shipping for a couple of days. Plus, uh, we got this, we had to run to get this new shipment that, came in i thought it was coming in tomorrow but it came in today so i just wanted to get it out get it over with and so yeah yeah man this is great it's perfect thank you you need me to fill out that form do i sign anything or that's just me okay thank you all right you have a good day i appreciate you all right man i keep forgetting to bring sea moss for these guys I think next time I come, I'm just gonna bring a whole shitload. So that's locked in. Ooh. Bumba. Reconnect with your customers. Ooh. Reach new ones. Whoa. Whether they're listening, watching, or clicking. A little slippage there. Refresh on your business. Oh. Done and done. I don't know if I can. I don't know if this will. The stand will work. Oh. Yeah, so that's me picking up uh, just under 2,000 pounds of sea moss um, in Toronto. And oh, you can't even see me there. Yeah, so it's in Toronto. And I'm bringing it back to the warehouse that we have here, and I'm gonna start shipping out CMOS. So I just wanted to do this quick live just because I haven't done a live on Instagram in a, quite a while, and um, I've been mostly on Facebook and YouTube. So if you guys wanna join us there on uh, Facebook at St. Lucian CMOS Company, and on YouTube, if you just search St. Lucian CMOS Company, you'll find our channel, and then you'll see all the videos that I've been doing lately I've been doing uh, live streams every Tuesday and uh, Tuesday sorry I lied not Tuesdays every Sunday and Wednesday so tomorrow we're gonna be doing a live stream on um, on Facebook and YouTube I tried to do it on Instagram but you know the technology to make it work is really tight and so I, I think I have to run some tests on it to, to get it all figured out because when I tried it the other day, it just failed miserably. So, yeah. So, guys, let me know if you guys have any questions about CMOS, about St. Lucian CMOS Company. Um, just, uh, just want to give a shout out, whatever. Uh, I'm going to stay live for a couple minutes, but then I got to focus on the road. And, um, yeah, I got to focus on the road. <laughs> that's, that's it pretty much. <sighs> Can't be doing this. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, texting, video, videoing and driving. So. Oh. Life for a CMOS a, a guru or whatever. I don't know what you would call me. CMOS seller, CMOS distributor. 
but life isn't easy when it comes to uh, selling CMOS. Do you need to go out? Sorry, these. there's a truck in front of me that, um, oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't good. Sorry about that. Just drop the uh, just drop the uh, stand that I have here. So real success says you always hear about CMOS. What is CMOS? Well, CMOS is an algae that grows in the ocean. Um, there's different species of it, but the one that I sell or the ones that I sell are, are basically condorous, not condorous, what, what am I talking about? It is um, Garcilaria and Euchidema cottontini. And so in St. Lucia, what I've found is that um, both species are very similar in appearance and in benefits and, and all that. So it's hard really to distinguish one over and over the other. And a lot of times in St. Lucia when they ship the sea moss or they sell you the sea moss, it's, it's all just sea moss. Like they don't sell Garcilaria sea moss. They don't sell, a lot of these sea moss farmers don't even know, can't even tell the difference between the species. So, you know. But it's all good, you know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of this talk about, you know, which is the best sea moss. I don't think there's one sea moss that's superior than the other sea mosses. Um, not only that, but if you understand how sea moss grows, you'll understand that the, the nutrient quality in the sea moss varies all the time. Like, you're never gonna get the same consistency every time, all the time you're going to find that um, some of the stuff is uh, like some days, it, well here's the thing, the, the quality of the sea moss really comes down to the, the, the conditions of the water at the time that the sea moss was grown, right? And so sometimes, you know what I mean, the conditions aren't that favorable. Sometimes they're, they're extra favorable. But all around, the sea moss has somewhat of a like a kind of like a balance. You know what I mean? It's always kind of like within a range. Some days it might be high, some days it might be low, but it all kind of keeps in between the same, I guess, like range of parameters, if that makes sense. Um, does it cure cancer? No, I don't believe sea moss cures cancer. Soursop leaves helps with um, reducing the. Um, like it helps, it helps a lot with cancer. I don't want to say soursop cures cancer because a lot of these herbs, it's it's not like they cure stuff. But taking a combination of herbs and changing your diet and fasting and um, just eating good food will do a lot to reduce the likelihood of you getting cancer. Or if you have cancer, it can help reduce the. Um, how do you say it? The, I guess the cancer like stuff, like, you know what I mean? Like the, uh, the tumor and stuff like that. I do know of a guy that works in the same building that I, I sell my CMOS off and I've been, he got cancer recently and he asked me for some CMOS and I've been giving him CMOS and he said that he recently visited his doctor and the doctor said, look, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because your numbers are going down. Now, does that mean that CMOS cures cancer? I doubt it. I think it's a combination of the CMOS, a combination of his change in diet, a combination of his overall being. Like if you, you know, it's almost like mind over matter. If you're strong enough and strong will enough to survive, you're gonna survive. You know what I mean? And so there are people that have built can beat cancer just by believing that they can beat cancer, if that makes sense. So I hope that answers your question. 
and uh, I'm gonna get on the road now so that I can focus on my driving. I got a lot of I gotta drive at least another hour back to the East End to drop off the CMOS, and so um, yeah, I uh, maybe when I unload the CMOS, I'll come back and do another live stream and show you guys me loading it and just you know getting it into the warehouse. But until then, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and see how I receive um, just under 2,000 pounds of CMOS. All right? Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.